welcome to this episode of our journey beyond mind today we will talk about influence now as vispi and ratu continue their learning journey in the spirit world they come across a soul who was suffering because she was influenced by a very evil soul on the earth and she could not stop herself from doing which was not right this soul at the age of 19 left the village on the earth and moved to a university in the city to become a doctor in this university she meets a bully and falls in love with even though she knew he was a bully she could not stop herself from loving him she became like a slave to him she followed all his orders she brought girls for him for his pleasure she smuggled drugs for him and did all the things that she shouldn't have done she even left the university without completing her studies and became a clerk in a bank her parents did all they could to call her back home but all failed one day he told her to become friends with a rich girl he had done that before he used to tell her to be friends with some rich girls then would make friendship with them make love with them take all their money and then run away but this time it was different after ma- being friends with this rich girl he decides to marry her now this girl this soul is really shocked but is still under his influence still obeying all his orders this guy then orders her to become friends with the rich girl's father this was not enough tells her to marry him she does that she marries that old man after some time he orders her to kill her husband now this soul still has no guts no courage to do the right thing from now on i will read the story as narrated by her to vispi and ratu he soon ordered me to kill my rich old husband i refused and he said he would put me in jail by furnishing proof to the police that i had peddled drugs i cried pleaded and begged him to leave me alone as killing was beyond me but nothing affected his stone cold heart and he showed me photographs and proofs that would land me in jail i then realized what a fool i had been to obey his orders how stupid stupid i'd been to love a devil like him hoping that one day he would love me and marry me in the end he got me to kill my old husband and i became a rich widow half of his estate was in my name and other half in his daughters i wondered what i could do as he kept dragging me through hell killing was beyond me and i could not sleep nor eat after my husband's death i was preparing to run away somewhere he could not find me taking some money from my husband's estate and leaving most of it for his daughter but before i finalized my plans he ordered me to kill his wife i was stunned i cried again and pleaded him that this was going too far i couldn't take it anymore and begged him to leave me alone but nothing nothing softened his heart this whole time he had planned nasty things in such a way that if caught all the evidence pointed to me as the guilty one he was safe so he picked up the phone to call the police saying he w- he could also prove that i had killed my husband there was no escape i realized i had loved him so blindly and then whatever he told me to do so i realized how deeply i was trapped and what a great fool i had been now there was no escape i would have to confess to the police that i had killed my husband it was much better than killing my stepdaughter i asked him not to call police and agreed to kill her 
secretly i made up my mind to go straight to the police in the morning and confess everything he said okay kill her tomorrow according to my plan i was very upset thinking hard about what to tell the police and i did not reply so he asked me what are you thinking about you shouldn't try to use your brains even if you have any you must do exactly what i tell you to do then he left that night he killed his wife and somehow proved to the police that i had killed her and my husband too because he suspected that i was no longer his blind slave he guessed i disagreed with him and maybe i would do something that would go against his plans and so he involved me in such a way that evidence found me responsible for the murder instead of going to the police they came to my door early the next morning and arrested me at that time of the trial they took me from the prison to the court and i got the opportunity to run up to the 6th floor and commit the suicide this is the reason why she was suffering in the spirit world she was asking for help when vispi and ratu were sent to show her the right way in the spirit world it takes a lot of inner strength and courage to live on this earth it is very risky to come here many souls from the place of light have fallen and are suffering a lot so what is the role of this subconscious mind that has been given to us to guide us to what extent can it guide us what can we do to make sure we listen to our subconscious mind let us answer these questions in the next video thank you